Welcome to the Native Diamond Podcast. Oh shit! What you waiting for? What's up everyone? Seth Mc here, back again with another reaction review video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Today I'm reviewing and reacting to While She Sleeps, You Are All You Need. I had to double take that. I was like, am I reading this wrong? Yes, You Are All You Need. It dropped February the 8th, just now getting around to it. Haven't seen the video, haven't heard the song. While She Sleeps is a really sick band though. I really do like what they got going on. I like what they bring to the whole scene. Very solid band, so I can't wait to check this thing out. After the reaction, stick around because I'm gonna be giving this thing a rating and also reading the comments so you don't wanna miss out. Before we get started, please make sure you like the video, hit subscribe, ring that notification bell, that way you're notified every time I drop a new reaction review video or whole podcast episode. The links are in the description. Anyway, let's get into this video. This looks like it's about to be super trippy. <laughs> Kind of reminds me of like a code orange visual. Oh. Right out the gate. Such a sick riff. Oh. oh vocal sounds so good. Those drums are so fucking nasty. That tone. This is so sick. Oh man. The tempo of this song is fucking lit. The drummer is just going ham on this shit. Oh my god, this is so fucking good, bro. It just gets you upbeat and wants you to get going. Like, this shit does not stop. Oh shit, these visuals are crazy. Oh, dude, that little bass drop. These visuals are fucking they're just crazy. I don't know what else to say. They're trippy as hell. It feels like you're on LSD. Ooh. I like the way they did the vocal split in the headphones. This is crazy. Oh. oh, so good. Oh, let's go. Oh, with the guitar too. Oh, damn, dude. Killed it. The drums just keep you going the whole time, but I can't sit, I can't sit still anyway, or talk. Fucking wrists are so good, dude. Wow. 
Holy shit, that was good. I don't know how I feel about it. No, I'm just kidding. It was fucking sick. It was fucking sick, bro. It wouldn't be a native diamond reaction if we didn't get to these comments. Let's First pinned comment, of course, Nick Nocturnal. Your boy, Riff Paradise. That's the first thing that got me off cuff with this song, the fucking riffage. Next comment. This video is sponsored by While She's Stoned. What a sick fucking spinoff of a band name. I love it. Okay, next comment. You guys just can't disappoint. I don't think it's in their blood. This band rips. Everything they put out, it's been nothing but good. It feels like they just kind of came out of nowhere. They had Ollie Sykes on as a feature and then just blew up overnight. I remember just hearing about them. Next thing you know, they're at the top of all these fucking charts on everyone's A-list. Definitely one of those bands that did not waste any time. If I got that wrong, I'm just sorry. This is just my perspective. Okay, so of course it's gonna be a little skewed. Next comment. Proud moment for an Indian metalhead when you see Hindi lyrics, well done. That's so cool that you make your music for everybody. Next comment. That chorus is straight fucking fire. Of course it is. I like all the songwriting with While She Sleeps. All the songs that I've heard, always catchy, okay? Next comment. When you wanna trip and rage at the same time. That's all I'm saying, dude. Super trippy. Either they were under the influence of LSD or that, don't even know. Shit was trippy. Next comment. I just got slapped by that breakdown. Holy shit. That's what I'm saying. That breakdown was so fucking good. Next comment. It's gonna be a great year for metal. I think really because so many people didn't drop their album that they had worked on back in 2020 and they probably kind of held on to it hoping that we would be relieved of COVID by now. But I think now people are not gonna wait they're ready to drop their music. They've all been working on music hardcore lately, so don't sit on it. You're gonna make more sooner or later, and there's no fucking clue when things are gonna go back to, you know, normal or whatever normal is gonna look like. So just drop your music. Next comment. When the lyrics first popped up, I was thinking, what the fuck? Then the language started to change, and I was like, genius. See, that's how I felt. That's so cool. All right, so I'm scrolling through everything. It looks like Everyone's liking it. I'm seeing a lot of different languages in the comments, which is really cool. This is like bringing so many people together. But anyway, everyone's really digging it. Next comment, British metal bands never disappoints. Let's kind of look at some of these lyrics real quick. Brain damage, deterioration, this hurt won't speak for me. Divided in disbelief. The hairline fractures split beneath. We all deserve to suffocate. Can anybody hear me? I'd rather be underrated. The minor, not the major. I don't need liberation, a higher state of being. I'd rather be hated, cursed instead of sacred. We're gonna set the record straight. No hidden fucking meaning. So far, so bad, and it's only getting worse. There ain't no distance between hell and earth. We all deserve to suffocate, but the world still turns. I'd rather be underrated, the minor, not the major. I don't need liberation, a higher state of being. I'd rather be hated, cursed instead of sacred. We're gonna set the record straight. No hidden fucking meanings. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. So like these lyrics kind of hit home for me. I'm sure they mean so many different things and we're not gonna get exactly right to the songwriters, but from what I'm gathering from it, maybe as a civilization, you know, we have failed each other. We kind of are all selfish and self-indulged and just a state of how society is. The whole, there ain't no distance between hell and earth. Like, I feel that. I fucking feel that because sometimes you're just like, am I living in hell being on earth? The line, we all deserve to suffocate, but the world still turns. It's just kind of like, it doesn't matter what kind of evil is going on in the world. Like, it's gonna continue to go on no matter what. It's the whole irony of life on earth. The whole line about I'd rather be underrated the minor not the major it's kind of like I'm gonna make the music that I want to make regardless of if it makes me like famous or popular or whatever it's kind of like well I'd rather do what I do and make the music I want to make and I'm gonna do it regardless of if you like it or not because I'm doing it for me I'm not doing it to be popular and like this whole like I don't need liberation a higher state of being I'd rather be hated cursed instead of sacred you don't have to put me on the pedestal you know what I mean? So much meaning in 
this and so much value. It could be taken so many different ways. I'm just kind of like shooting off basically the first things that come to mind. But, you know, what do you take away from the lyrics? Like, what do you think the main point was? And let's start a conversation, okay? Hit it up in the comments. Tell us your take on it. But anyway, let's get to a rating. I'm gonna rate it a straight up five out of five. I really do like this song. I like that it has like this meaning that you can relate to. I like how accessible it is with all the different languages. I think it's really cool. It's such a trippy ass video. If you're doing psychedelics and you're checking out this music video, it's the best day ever for you, I'm sure. Now just go, Oh. What? Do it, man. Oh. 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 What did you guys think about the song? What would you rate it? Drop that in the comments. I'm gonna get out of here. Please make sure you like the video, hit subscribe, ring that notification bell, that way you're notified every time I drop a new reaction review video or podcast episode. You don't wanna miss out. As always, until I see you guys on a future reaction review, shine on. Shine on. Shine on. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah.